Hello there everybody, this is Ira and I'm back with yet another new indie game. This one's called Nordlicht and this one is not quite out yet. This one is coming out tomorrow, Friday the 27th of September. So if you're watching this the day it comes out, you gotta wait one more day to play this one. Uh, I'm just loading this up for the first time. It's gonna be another blind uh, first look at the game. Um, and you will notice that when I've opened it by default, it is in Russian. As you may have noticed with the text, now fortunately I do know enough Russian to know this is Yaze Kuroski, so I can click this, Italian, English. So if you uh, if you load up the game for the first time and it is not in your language, uh, that middle one there is the one that you need to click. Uh, so I believe this is a point and click adventure game or something along those lines, and it looks absolutely beautiful, and I'm really excited to get a chance to check this one out. So let us jump in with a new game and see what's up. It looks, uh, I've seen some some footage of the game and it looks really lovely. So what do we got? We got an intro. Aurora loved dreaming. Oh, who doesn't? She was flying over the northern lights. The colorful radiance tickled her naked toes. I don't see her toes. She was about to reach the newly emerged star when suddenly a joyful thought woke her up. Oh, that's nice. It's always good to be woken up by a joyful thought. I will say that text moved a little bit quickly and it didn't give me the chance to, uh, to scroll it forward myself. So, but hopefully the, most of the text, yeah, it looks like most of the text will require you to click to advance, so that's good. This is Aurora, I guess. Wakey, wakey, Peter. Today is the big day. We're going on an adventure. Who's Peter? All right, all right. Come on out, Peter. Just give me another five minutes. No. You're the laziest guinea pig I know. Oh, it's a guinea pig. Oh, I love this already. My friends, I can tell this is going to be a good one. My friend Peter the guinea pig doesn't want to get out of bed. Come on, get out of bed. Rupert must be waiting already. Oh, who's Rupert? Can we get another front friend? Oh, fine, I'm coming. That's a good boy. All right. Do I have control yet? No, not quite. Hi, hi. I think maybe it's supposed to be hee hee. Uh, sometimes the transliteration from different languages comes out a little funny, but uh, slept well, Peter? I could ask you the same. I hope you, your excitement could calm down since yesterday. <laughs> it's not perfectly translated, but we get the idea. Not a bit. I'm just so happy to see Mom soon. Have you played an adventure game before? <laughs> Two words, friends. Uh, by the way, this this is probably not quite the release version, so it is entirely possible that some of these spelling errors and things uh, may be fixed. But if not, again, at least we can understand what's being said here. I will still point out when I see errors because, uh, you know, as, as you folks already know of me, I'm an editor. That's my day job. I can't help it. I can't help it, my friends. Uh, yes, I, I have hundreds of times. No, not really. Yes, I have. I have played an adventure game before. Thousands of times. That's the spirit. But just as a reminder, click the ground for walking and interacting. Drag items for crafting. We should be on our way now. Oh, yes. I almost forgot. He must be waiting. Okay, so, standard adventure game controls, we've got- Oh, it's snowing outside! Sorry, folks, I got distracted. <laughs> so we move the mouse around, and you can- Oh! Oh my goodness. It just zoomed- I didn't do that, it just did that. Um, okay. So as I move the mouse around, it changes, as you can see, presumably when I can click on stuff. So let's take a look at these blocks. My old toys, I don't like the colors as much anymore. Can I pick them up? We have no time to play around now. All right, is this a lighter? Tell me this is not a lighter. Rabimel, Rabamel, Rabum. Boom, boom. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I didn't leave that lying around. Maybe she meant I shouldn't leave that lying around? Is that is that a lighter? That's that's definitely a lighter. How old are you, little little person there? How old are you, young young friend? Peter has a great taste. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and declare right now. First of all, this was clearly not translated by a native English speaker. Uh, it was clearly translated by a non-native speaker. Well well done overall, but um, there's there's a lot of errors in here <laughs> um, that I can't help but notice. I'm gonna close that. Um, can I talk to the bed? Ahem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'd like to keep them intact, all right? My comfortable bed. A lot of dreams have been dreamed here. Aw, I like that. Then my bed is awesome. I just stood up. Teddy bear? My old teddy. I'm not taking him with on the I'm not taking him with me on this journey anymore. I don't know why that was so hard for me to read. I still got Peter with me after all. Can I talk to it? You can go talk to Teddy? Explain to Teddy why he's not coming with us. Hey there. No answer. Alright. Some drawings. 
my newest creations. Can we take a look? I'll hang them up again as soon as I'm back. All right, fair enough. We got a big dinosaur here. This is Croco. Don't be afraid his teeth are out of plush. <laughs> Their teeth are made of plush, I see. We hug him. I'm sorry, but Peter needs that. Oh, okay. Took the scarf. Croco is not very talkative, but that's fine. I still love him. Yeah, you go. People don't have to talk to be worthy of your love. Here I have my favorite toys. First of all, Dobby, my doll. Fill the paper towel and Ingo. I forgot what he was. Can we take them? The rod is done for, but the bait should still do its job. Okay. Standard adventure, adventure game style. You pick up everything, and if you can pick it up, then presumably there's a reason to pick it up. And you'll figure out why later. This is Peter. Peter Parsley. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. We've been best friends forever. Come with me, my little pig. Guinea pig, not a pig. Um, Peter? Yes, Aurora? Uh, what do we... Sh we should take a look around. Okay. M did you say? Meep? It's my cat's name. It's not spelled like that. <laughs> Peter, you misspelled my cat's name. Mom always said what a talented painter you are. Dad never wanted to tell me why they laughed so heartily afterwards. Oh, that's mean. Parents are mean. Don't listen to them, Aurora. Don't worry about them. My old mobile. Mobile? Mobile? I don't even remember how this is pronounced in American English anymore. <laughs> Nowadays it's just jingling around. Aww. Me. For sleeping, it simply makes the best sounds. Okay. <laughs> Aurora? I was just joking, Peter. Alright, I think that's all in this room. Let's walk over here. Oh, look at the little arrow. I like that. Very cute. Oh. I guess that's it. The father interrupted his work on the small boat. His messed up hair fluttered in the wind as he took a glance inside the house to Aurora. He knew directly that he could count on her. <laughs> Again, this awkward kind of non-native English. It's sort of, it's sort of uh, just endearing at this point. There you are. I hope you dreamed well, my little star. As you know, today's the big day. We'll visit your mother. Sadly, our boat has been damaged by the harsh winter. It'll need some repairing. I already brought all my luggage to the boat, but I need some help with the rest. As long as Peter is allowed to help as well. I wasn't expecting anything else. Meep. <laughs> is that the little squeal the guinea pigs do? So I put a list with everything that's still missing in the corridor. You should look at that first. That's a good call. Oh uh, yeah, Aurora. Yes? Just give me everything through this door as soon as you find it, then we'll leave soon. All right, Dad. <laughs> Let's pass it through the door. Rupert's in my jackets. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of reading in this. My old shoes used to itch so much. Interesting. Well, let's take a look at this list. This is the note which has our packing list written on it. Well, I wanna look at it. I guess I gotta walk over and touch it with my hand. Let's see what you have to say. Okay, <laughs> I guess I have to take it out of my bag to read it. Here we go. Ten. Fishing rod and bait. Fishing is spelled sort of German there. Food. Favorite book. Your toothbrush, pocket lighter, got that. Lantern. I guess that's it. Okay. So, um... I've got the bait. I guess the fishing rod is, is, is kind of combined there. Food will be in the kitchen, right? I see a kitchen right here. Maybe keep an eye open for the lantern and maybe my favorite book. What's this? Our oven has a leak, Captain. You walk in here, sweetheart? Thank you. Okay, um, cookies! We take those? That's food, right? Cookies are food. This is a video game. I'm allowed as much sugar as I want. If only one is missing, nobody will notice. <laughs> what we got here? Some jam? I love preserving jars. The perfect vessel for fairies and other mythical creatures. Well, there's some jam in that one, I think, or something. You're coming with me? My favorite joke was about a refrigerator. It goes like... Like... Oh, dear. Um... <laughs> And I'm sure I lost the jokes book as well. It's not worth opening. Dad forgot the groceries either way. Okay. What's this plant? Peter got this one as a present for Mommy. But he didn't like the taste, which is why she is still growing today. She, oh my goodness, again, when things are translated from other languages by non-native speakers, sometimes they keep the genders and things. In English, words are typically not gendered. Uh, but in most languages, they are. So we get the plant as a she. Why not? Most of the time he heats our food, sometimes he doesn't. Okay. Once I touched the burner, happily it was cold. The more exciting was the thrill. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
I am I am giggling. Also oh, a mouse hole. Every time I leave cheese at this address, it's gone the next day. I'm giggling because of the sort of awkward uh, awkward phrasing of some of these things. Like you can tell what they mean, but it's not how a native English speaker would say it. For this, I'll need a magic potion. <laughs> I like that. All right, I guess upstairs. Let's go upstairs. She walks very slowly. Can we run? No, I guess not. Up we go. Up. Up. I have to do that. I guess I have to do that. We get a little fade to black. We got all these photos. I don't want to look at everything. Daddy always says I look like her. Aw. Rupert should clean this mess up a bit. Isn't that your dad? You call your dad Rupert? These are cookbooks. Why should I need those? I don't know what they are. We gotta find your favorite book there, Aurora. Rupert. Okay, that's the same. Where's your favorite book? This is Daddy's workplace. I shouldn't be playing around here. Well, you're gonna. There's a key. What could be opened by this? I don't know. Take it. Aw. Is it an adventure game where I can't take the key? <laughs> As is wrong. Cooking for beginners. Story of a borrower. Daddy didn't say which is his favorite book. Oh. Am I gonna have to ask him? This is my favorite. This is my favorite one. Dad should like it. Good call. I like that logic. It's perfect. It's over here. We got something outside. It's a little balcony. We got a little balcony. I like it. We can stand over here. We get a nice view. There's an apple. Oh, why do I think uh, we need to take this apple? This could get really dangerous and I want to fall from that tree again. It hurt. Oh dear. Can I use... Oh, I did only take the bait. I didn't take the whole fishing rod. What is this book? The Common Guinea Pig is on page 60. Sadly, I still didn't manage to teach Peter the described tricks. <laughs> Those little sound effects that Peter is making. Um, I don't really know how to read them. They appear to be transliterated from another language. Since the game was in Russian by default, I'm guessing that the uh, the uh, creators of the game are Russian. But I have not actually looked that up, so I'm not sure. Our ancient fireplace. Since Mom isn't here anymore, we only used it rarely. Okay. Um, what's in here? Oh, I bet my toothbrush is in here. That one should be easy enough at least, right? She's so beautiful. Again, with the genders. This is cute. Her feet look like small legs. Maybe she'll run us away someday. Kind of nice, actually. Good imagination, Aurora. Way in the back lies my washing bag. What's a washing bag? Aurora? Yes, Pops? Remember to give luggage you already found through the store. <laughs> okay, I'll try to remember. Dear bathtub, tell me, can you speak? Oh, I guess not. That's a shame. Get the toilet here. Here I have the best ideas on how to overcome my board. <laughs> Small but powerful. Precisely. <laughs> like you, Peter. Hello, my dear duck. And I like that you can talk to almost everything. Even if it doesn't talk back. She said, I put your wash bag in the bathtub for you. What was she thinking? What's a wash bag? Isn't that my toothbrush? It's Rupert's toothbrush. I hope you remembered the travel one. Mm-hmm. We wash ourselves in the tub, but Peter gets washed in the sink. Of course he does. He's little. He's a little friend. I don't want to fill up, waste all that water, filling up the whole bathtub for a little friend. Most of the time, our water doesn't work. Well, that's not good. Today we're lucky. <laughs> okay. Um. What is this? Let's see what's inside. Oh, there's my toothbrush, and some floss, and a real nasty-looking sponge, absorbent and elastic. All right, let's climb up this ladder. Ooh, creaky floorboards. What's up here? All kinds of junk. Oh, I love attics. As long as they're, you know, not completely full of dust because I'm allergic. The shelf is so mysterious. Every item tells its own story. I just don't know them. <laughs> I like that. Peter's old cage. I'm not surprised. Surprised he didn't like it. Yeah, it's pretty small. We're not going to need him. This guy over here. Mommy's old stuff. That's way too heavy. Daddy often studies and observes the stars. In this chest, he has all the equipment he needs for that. Locked. Oh, I bet I know what to do about that. And Peter doesn't fit through the keyhole. Oh no, Peter, what good are you? About this cracked mirror. I wonder if this mirror has magical powers. I mean, probably. Look at it. Better not touch that. I don't want to cut myself. I can still talk to it. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Nothing. Dang. Also broken. Creepy. 
My old shelf, I wouldn't have thought we still have it. I see nothing that could be of value. Something appears of value or it wouldn't be here. That thing has gone through something, but there's no place where you can tell spine chillers that good. Therefore, we're still taking it with us. Okay. I don't know what that is, though. What is that? A mobile home. Oh, it's a tent! Okay. I'm so excited to slay down the hill again. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> oh, goodness. The writing in this is delightful. More of mommy's old stuff. It's way too heavy. Okay. I think that's all I can I can get right here. Let's head back down, give dad what we've got so far. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't go, don't go. Can I? I can't cancel. I see, the, I see the lantern. We have to get that lantern, right? She was standing in front of it at first. I didn't see it. Lanterns are like prisons for light. Goodness. <laughs> It's kind of a dark way of looking at it. Our old lantern, it's empty though. There's a candle right there, or... What I need, for what would I need antiquities in this sea journey? Does it need oil? I'm not sure. Let's go down, let's go down and talk to Dad. Rupert. I should really get going and gather everything we need for our journey. Door needs to be big and heavy to keep the cold out. Talk to Dad. Daddy! Father. Yes. Well, he disappeared. <laughs> um, okay. I guess I have to use... I should continue packing our stuff. I think I probably need to... Come on, come on, come on. Alright, we need to give him... Um, a book? Wait, how do I... Come on, come on. Um, drag and drop. You want this book? You should know that the favorite book about star that the book about stars is my favorite one. Well then I need that key. Toothbrush. Always remember brush brushing your teeth. <laughs> Yay, I got a star. Lovely. Look at the article effects. I like that. Oh look at that. Aw. That's a nice little progress system, isn't it? Uh what about floss? You want some floss? I don't want to break anything. Okay. Tent? I think that's a tent. Oh wow, that has a lot of patches. Don't complain, father. Okay. Oh look, we're making a constellation! Oh, I like that. Okay, what else? Tent done. Don't have the fishing rod, we got the bait. Food, cookie. Parsley? Apple. Favorite book, toothbrush, pocket lighter, and lantern. Okay. Aurora, yes pops. Remember to give... Yeah, 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 you said. He said. Uh, lantern. Could you fill it up with oil? Lantern's not gonna burn long like this. Okay, well, if I can find some. Lighter. We are gonna give you the lighter. We'll make ourselves a comfy campfire with this, am I right? Sure. Sure, father. Up it goes. Yay! What's it gonna be? I'm excited. I'm genuinely invested now. Okay, oil. Is that oil? On the floor? Can we scoop up oil and put it in the lantern from the floor? <laughs> How am I supposed to get the oil inside? I don't know. I don't know. Probably with this sponge. Because it's an adventure game and that's how it's gonna work. <laughs> I hope this works. It'll work. Trust me. It's adventure game logic. Perfect. Now I squeeze it. That's disgusting. Well, there we go. Alright. Uh, got that. Need to find a fishing rod. Can I go out this way? We should get Peter some warmer clothes before we go outside. Aww. Here you go, Peter. Put your scarf on, my little friend. This should help against the cold. Aww. Aurora caringly wrapped the scarf around Peter's neck. Aww. Doing so, she totally forgot that also for her, it'll be cold outside. Well, I'm sure she'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Just get out there. Get out there and find something. Our big garden door. Be careful with your feet, Peter. Feep. Okay, fine with your paws. Alright, what do we need out here? I prefer not to. Somebody seems to already live here. Aw, so we can't take this apple because there's a worm in there. And we don't want to dislodge it from its home. Okay, I love this. Good morning, my small worm. Uh, is this a stick? Mommy and Daddy planted this at my birthday. Oh, it's a tree. Rupert can talk a lot, but this is anything else, anything other than safe, I think, is what they mean. Um, what we got here? Rom was also not built from one stick. Pretty sure that means Rome. 
Can we take this stick? Oh my goodness! That's a little kitty. Rome wasn't built from one stick either. Got it right that time. Nobody knows that I hit a snowball. <laughs> I hit a snowball inside the snowman. Are you looking forward to summer just as much as I am? They go on vacation in winter, but they always leave their worms in the cold. Worms are good bait, but I don't want to put them in my bag like this. Chirp, chirp, feep, feep. Peep, peep. Nobody seems to be home. Um, oops, something missing. Okay, so do I need to like... Mommy said playing with sharp things is dangerous. No. I guess this is as far as we can go here. What can we do with these worms? Put them on some floss? This is neither the right place nor the right time for that. That's fair. That is fair. I'd like to just scoop it all up. Hmm. Oh, I did get a stick. Okay. Can I use the stick? We're, get, we're getting uh, to the use everything on everything portion of the game, I think. He already has two arms. Oh. All right, maybe I can use the, the stick to dislodge the apple upstairs. She's a trooper too, look at this. She's like in her socks and she doesn't even look cold. Can I go this way? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's go. Let's go back inside. Let's go inside, Peter. Um, oh, I wish I could make her go faster. Can I find anything in this bag? These coats are too big for Peter. Ah, she's going for herself. There we go. Yep, cuddly and warm. Uh, hup. Upstairs you go. Uh, maybe if I go up this ladder I can grab that key? I should reach the key from here. There we go. Aurora remembered she had noticed something shiny on the ceiling in the past. <laughs> she was truly a gifted treasure hunter. That's true. Look at this little spider. This game is so cute, my friends. That was a piece of cake. Okay, she got it. Oops. Come on out here. See if you can use that stick. Get that. Oops. I'm not used to the controls. Drag and drop. Hmm. Nope. Dang. Gosh dang. Wait, can I? <laughs> Hold on a second. One not here, one not there. Adventure game logic. Adventure game logic. This goes here and this goes there. Come on over here. We have a fishing rod now. Can we use that to get the apple? There's nothing to fish. No, okay. Maybe I have to take that outside to get the uh, worm. How am I going to get that apple? Oh, wait. Hold on. What's this? I'm not going to reach in there. Well, fine. Fine, then. Don't reach in there. Get back up there. This is probably my biggest problem with adventure games, just in general. And it's not a specific critique of this one. But basically, all adventure games I've ever played, uh, the characters always move so slow. And it looks really nice at first. With a little click, Rupert's mysterious star chest opened. Between notes, star maps, and antique telescopes, Aurora's view fell on a very thick book. Interstellar travels from Gilbert, Gilbert Gulliver. Oh my goodness, their last name is Gulliver. I see, this is where Rupert left his favorite book. She alternates between calling her dad, Dad, and calling him Rupert. I shouldn't mess daddy's stuff up. Oh, come on, it's like a treasure map. All right, fine. Is there anything else here? Rupert didn't say anything about cleaning. We well, could use that to get the apple down, couldn't ya? All right. Let's go back down. Need that apple. Just watered them. I've heard if I talk to her, she grows faster. Hello. No? Well then, not. Okay. Um... I get this apple. Whoops. What's this? The picture that we took this winter in the garden. I'll bring it to mom so we can put it in our time capsule. Aw, it's lovely. Aw! Aw! Aw, you guys! Aw! <laughs> There's one left. This could get really dangerous. I don't want to fall from that tree again. It hurt. Can I throw something at it? Wait, seriously? Not now, sadly. Oh. Hmm, nope. 
throw a book at it. I don't want to break anything. <laughs> Just use everything on everything. All right, I don't know. I don't know what to do about this, uh, this apple. Hopefully I'll figure it out. I'd like to finish this section before I end the video. Just this first bit. And then that will surely be it, because, you know, I don't want to, uh... I don't want a spoiler. Actually, let's... Let's check in with, uh, with Papa here. The most trustworthy equipment. Yay! Beautiful star. Oh, what's it gonna be? Okay, uh, fishing rod? Wait a second, is that my fishing rod? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else? Just food. Bait. That's it. Food and bait. Somehow I'm gonna get an apple and whatever that is. Maybe some of that's from in there. Those are not the herbs I'm searching for. Mother taught me pottery. My clumps were prettier, though. <laughs> Is this? No, not there. Can I combine these? Hmm? No. Alright. Papa? Daddy? Yes? Um, have we got everything we need? Did you bring me my book already? It should be in my other star equipment. Okay. I forgot to give him the book. Shush, 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 shush. Come on, come on, come on. We only have so much time to make this episode. Come on. Awesome, you found it. Sure did, Daddy. Sure did. Okay. What this is gonna be? Is it gonna be a book, maybe? Alright. Let's ask him again. Daddy! Yes? Have we got everything we need? Maybe we'll get a hint. To have something healthy, we should bring some fruits with us. Has our tree lost all its apples already? That's the only hint I'm gonna get, huh? You don't need to say that every time. You don't need to say it every time. Come on, come on. Let me go. Let me go. I'm running out of time. Just watered the... No. So there's definitely nothing in there. What about in here? Spoons are my favorite cutlery. Way more functional than a fork or a knife. So I've got a spoon now. Telekinesis tool. <laughs> That's cute. Follow me into the garden, Peter. She's got her jacket on now. I don't know if it was supposed to stop me from going out before. Alright, we're at the use everything on everything portion of the game. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. So I guess I've just eaten all the jam in this jar, so now I can put some worms in it? Come with me worms, we're going on an adventure. <laughs> All right, there's the bait. I still need the apple and the the herb, the herb. Which I have no idea how to get that. Hmm. Can I climb the tree? Oh, I'm not very talented in shaking trees. Oh. Come on, come on. Get it down. I need that apple. Shucks. I was hoping that was gonna work. <laughs> everything on everything. <laughs> no. Oh, I can come out front. Is there anything over here? Herb garden. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we were missing an area. So often, I find that that's what I'm missing when I'm playing adventure games, is that there's an area I didn't realize I could go to <laughs> mud cake. Did I just take a mud cake? Don't want to shovel snow now. Well, no, you wouldn't, would you? Anything else over here? Oop, just the sea. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna jump in the water. How about no? Yeah, that's a good call. Good call, Aurora. Okay, so what did I what did I just pick up? A mud cake. Really? I'm not sure what to do with that. My special recipe. <laughs> Ew. Disgusting. Will Peter give me a hint? What do we still need? Look up Rupert's notes or ask him yourself. Well, that's not helpful. 
Press the magnifying glass in the corner of the screen. Ah, there's a hint system. It's up there. Okay, well, let's go up to where the apple is. Still got this mud cake. Well, actually, let's give these things to Dad. They look delicious even for me. <laughs> really? The worms? Okay. If you like, Dad. Uh -huh. I have no idea what this is going to be. <laughs> okay. Uh, vegetables. I'm happy you're always thinking about Peter. We don't want him to get hungry again. Oh, they're for Peter. Fair enough. We do not want him to go hungry. Hmm. Okay. Cookies. Snack for us. Did you eat some already? No. <laughs> okay. Um, do you want a mud cake, Dad? It looks delicious. Oh yes, we really need to take that cake with us. Really? Okay. <laughs> um, so I think the only thing I'm missing now is the apple. So let's go up the stairs. Let's see if we can get a hint. How to get that apple. Okay, so here we are. Hint, please. Yes. Oh! I'm not afraid to climb on that thin branch, I just don't want to break it. Right. Come with me, my little pig. Can I... Can I get him to go? Can you get the apple for me? Ah, oh, there we go! With swift steps, Peter climbed along the branch and snatched the delicious fruit. Thankfully, the guinea pig preferred parsley. <laughs> Otherwise, the last apple of the orchard would probably have ended up in his belly. Where's his scarf? <laughs> awesome! Okay, great job. So, that's something I... He's been with us the whole time, and, and I knew that he would probably be important for something, and I just didn't think of talking to him. We've got it all figured out now. I think we're ready to go. Let us finish up this chapter. An apple a day keeps the mood away, or how is that again? <laughs> so that should be the last one, right? Right, right, right. Aww. Is that mom? Or is it me? Great, Aurora. I think we have everything we need. As soon as you're ready, you can come to the front door and join me. Awesome. Um, all right. We'll go through and we'll see whatever the next cutscene is and that's going to be the end of this video. Come here, Peter. We're going to visit Mom. Cheap. <laughs> These days, the sun never really rose. Only a red shimmer at the horizon competed with the twinkling of the stars. Very far up north. The supplies are packed and of course Aurora remembered to pack the new photo for her mom. They were ready for departure. And off we go. Oh, goodness. This looks dangerous. And I do love this kind of uh, stage plate waves here. I hope we have a calm sea today. But as my grandpa used to say, if the stars glow this bright, the loved ones are watching over us from Valhalla. Goodness. Aurora, do you remember how to sail our boat? No, an explanation would be good. I'd pay good attention now. All right. So we're going to stop it here because that is enough. I do not want to show too much of this little game because then it'll be spoiled for you folks. So this will be coming out, as I said, on Steam tomorrow, uh, Friday. And uh, I'll put a link in the description as always and you can go and check it out. It is very cute. It is not very well translated, but it is translated well enough to understand. And actually the kind of mistranslations have their own charm and um, 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 I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Uh, I'm okay with it. Um, the visuals are obviously beautiful and uh, yeah. I, I like it. I'm going to play more of it. I'll probably finish this one. So that's Nordlicht. Uh, thank you all very much for watching this, this little video. Uh, and remember, you know, as I always say, even if this game wasn't your cup of tea and you didn't enjoy this one and you're not interested whatsoever, I will be back very soon with another new indie game, my friends. And you never know, that one might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. 
Hey there everyone, it's me, Ira. Thank you so much for watching this video about Nordlicht. It looks like a very cute game, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, these right here, by the way, uh, some of my very favorite patrons. These are these are some of my top patrons. They're good people. Uh, thank you so much to everyone on this list for your support. And you know, if you like this video, if you like my videos, and you want to support someone who's trying to bring attention to smaller games and doing the kind of stuff that doesn't really get a YouTube channel a lot of attention, uh, maybe consider going and checking out my Patreon, patreon.com slash it's me, Ira Lee. And if you can afford it, maybe you can support me. I've got a lot of great rewards if you do so. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.